Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit Balance 2 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the ZEP application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the ZEP application and your iPhone to send the notifications to your watch. And to do that, we need to open the settings on our iPhone. So find the settings icon and tap on it. In settings, you need to find the option called Bluetooth and then tap on it. And here you need to check the list of my devices. On it, there should be a Macefit Balance 2. Tap on the info icon next to it. And here on this page, you should see this option, system notifications, share system notifications. And this option needs to be enabled for the notifications to work. If it's disabled, enable it. And if it's missing, because it's possible you're missing this option, what you need to do is to open the ZEP application, wait until the watch is done connecting with your phone, and after it connects, you probably will see some pop-ups about the uh, permissions. But if you don't, um, you can open the notifications and reminders, tap on notifications, and here you can turn on one of the types of notifications and then wait. And at some point you should see some pop-ups about the notification permissions in the app. If you see those pop-ups, allow all of them. And once you allow all of them and you're done, nothing is popping up anymore, you can close the app for now, go back to settings, tap on Bluetooth, tap on info icon next to MA's Fit Balance 2, and here make sure that the option is enabled. Once you allow the permission, it should be here, and it should be enabled, but just make sure, double check it, um, because if this option is disabled, it won't work. Okay, now we can go back to the ZEP application, and in it we can go back to the device page, of course, and then tap on notifications and reminders, and then tap on notifications. And here we have few options for our notifications. The first one is silence during the phone the focus mode. So basically, if you have the do not disturb mode enabled on your iPhone, the notifications on your watch will also be silent. Uh, if this option is enabled, you can disable it if you want to. Next, we have the incoming SMS, so notifications for the messages. You can enable them or disable them. Same for the email. And then we have the phone applications. And if you enable the phone applications, the list of apps will appear right here. This list is limited at the beginning, but it will fill in with the applications once you receive the notifications from them. So after you install the Zep application and you turn on the notifications uh, in the app, in the Zep application, then you will need to wait for this list to fill in because it will fill in with the apps once you receive the notifications from them. So if you don't see any applications here, um, wait until you so get some notifications from them on your iPhone, then it will they will appear right here on the list, I, if I remember correctly. As you can see, I have Discord and it's already enabled. And basically how it works is if you enable the notifications, let's say for Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord on your iPhone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. But if you disable the, the notifications for the app, uh, the notifications won't be forwarded to your watch, you will see them only on your iPhone. I'm gonna turn on Discord because I'm gonna be using it for the testing. And at this point, we should be uh, done. We should be ready to go. So the notifications should be working. I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. And we got the notification on our iPhone. And I believe we also got it on our watch. As you can see, it is working. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.